Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizam Makwe of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words wasteful pleasures. Wasteful pleasures. You know, I was reading the story of Luke chapter 15, uh, especially the prodigal son, and uh, I stumbled upon some things that were, I thought were very, very interesting, but so true and so profound. Now the Bible said, you see, this young man goes to his father and tells him, you need to give me my inheritance even before you die. I don't want to see you die before you give it to me. There are things I can do better. I've seen, another, I've seen the far, I mean, the pleasant far. I've seen the beautiful far. And the far always looks beautiful until you get close, you know. And I, I, I see possibilities. I see my, my, my world opening up. I see opportunities for me. I, you know, there's a vast uh, plethora of possibilities out there waiting for me. This was his intention. This was what he said. And the father gave it to him. Now, when the father gave him the, uh, all, all the, the resources that he needed, the Bible says he went to a far country and he, he, he spent it with parties. He spent it in lasciviousness. He spent it in pleasantries. He spent, I mean, he, he virtually wasted all that he had, all that he had been given. You know, there's one thing that is always very prominent in, in my mind, in my mindset. This boy had not worked for what he was given. This young boy had not really sweated for it. This, blood, this young uh, man has not shed blood for what he was given. And because he had not worked for it, because he had not toiled for it, because he had not sweated for it, because he had not shed blood, I mean figuratively, for it, he didn't respect it, he wasted it. You know, somebody said something to me. What you do not shed blood for, you don't cherish. What you shed blood for, you cherish. See a woman who's been to the labor world for her son or for her daughter and see their, their responses to it and compare them to somebody else who has not been, and then you will know the difference. Because you have, you have toiled for it, because you have sweated for it, you respect it, you cherish it, you will not waste it because you know what it took for you to get those things. But if you have not, if you have not walked through the pathway of sweat, what you don't sweat for, you don't respect. And I see it very often. Monies that come are woof, like people say in our local language. This one is called a woof money. I do fold the money, you know. Monies that come are, you don't respect. You burn it like that. Why? Because you didn't sweat for it. Why? Because you didn't toil for it. Why? Because you didn't shed blood for it. That means pain didn't go into it in order to create it. You, you didn't burn the midnight oil. You didn't burn the midnight candle. You never did. And so you, it, you, it just came. And I've seen people leave vast inheritances for children, vast amount of wealth, and they burn it because they never toil for it. They, they, for them, they use it on frivolous pursuits. They use it on frivolous things. You know, things that are so transient, things that don't last, things that are, are, are just transitory. Transient things that just, they, 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 they'll fade with time. I've seen them spend all those wealth and all those things in, in, in designer things and designer bags and designer water, shoes and designer whatever, whatever. And a couple of years later, something happens, a scratch, a tear, a this thing, and those things are gone. Where's that? Meanwhile, somebody toiled through the night. Somebody toiled with pain. Somebody toiled with, with tears and sweat in order to get it. But here's another young boy. He never really sweated for it, so he wasted it. Hmm. Wasteful pleasures. What you don't toil for, sometimes you don't respect and you don't cherish. What you shed no blood for, you don't, put, you don't attach that importance that it merits. And therefore you walk in the valley of wasteful pleasures. Choices are always yours. See you later.